Good morning, my lovers. I'm MJ. It's April 10th today. We're going to get a little vibe check for the energies this day. How are you guys doing after that big eclipse on Monday? Uh, a lot of mega big energies and uh, I think continuing to uh, just hold space for ourselves, right? Look after ourselves to the best of our ability. Look after the people we love to the best of our ability. And endeavor to have that greater sense of mental and emotional responsibility. So there's a decision here to be made. There looks like there's either a distorted or uncomfortable message coming through. The Page of Cups could be a child. This is about foundations and there seems to be like a desire for communication here. There could also be some resistance to letting something go. Um, the eight of, the eight of cups reverse, temperance reverse. This is a queen of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm hearing like a smart, intelligent character. They're in the reverse. They seem to be going in a different direction. They're not receptive here. There's no, there's no offer. There's no, there's no cup of love being offered from this queen of swords. And again, remember you guys, you can do what you like with the genders, certainly in general readings and take what resonates and leave what, re what does not take what resonates, leave the rest. I always like to remind people we are our personal power. These astrological divination tools are tools. They're not the main event. You're the main event. So we do always have free will. I'm I, I'm I'm being pulled into this uh, this eight of swords as far as like communication. Then I said the the ace of cups reverse. So something. Uh, I want to say there's a lack of emotional clarity. So now the ace of cups comes out in the upright communication an offer. There could be very much an offer coming in, but something foundationally has been I want to say corrupted like. Uh, the page is a messenger, remember that too, the messenger. So messages that are destabilizing the foundations that we have. There is a decision or, or a decision has been made or a decision is about to be made for some of you. There's something about injustice coming through here. A lack of emotional refinement. <clears throat> Chariot energy, that's a cancer energy. Maybe the decision is to not move forward on something you've been working on. I'm hearing passion project for some of you. I'm seeing this empress and immediately I almost got a feeling of sadness. She is in the upright though. Let's get some more layers here for divine guidance. So the chariot reverse. So there's something here about making a decision to not move forward about a place of a work, working, working. You're not moving in, you're not moving in a certain direction anymore. There's also communications possibly with a child around foundations and foundational stability. There could be a renewal of a foundational situation here. And then I'm just going to get more clarity on the on this sort of central energy which is 8 of cups reverse. This would be and again it depend <clears throat> it can depend on how you're going to interpret it, but um this is like a lack of emotional refinement, 
either resistance to walking away or walking away, but with a chip on our shoulders kind of thing. This Queen of Swords is in the reverse. They're not clear. They're not forthcoming. They're down, I'm hearing down in the dumps, in the reverse. They're not, the temperance is about grounding ourselves to refine our emotionality, to refine our connection to God or source, right? I get a real sense of melancholy from that eight of cups as well. Like there's uh, just some kind of real sadness here. There could be, there could be something here about growing new, ro new roots, having a new beginning, the Empress Reverse with the Ten of Pentacles is making me think that this could have to do with money. It could have to do with materiality. Wasn't there, there's the Eight of of, of um, a Pentacle member, like not moving forward. So if some of you are choosing to not move forward with a said job or um, like opportunity, right? An opportunity to make money that it feels like you're cutting that out. Like, I don't want to do that thing anymore. I don't want to... Um, yeah work like this anymore and then there seems to be a development or a or a, a phase of maybe regrowth or even straight up just like releasing stuff like eight of cups is letting go if there if there's anything connected it's like letting go of that job or and that's part of maybe where the decision comes in do i don't i do i let go of that job do i have that conversation do i take that offer do i so, you know sack it all off and go in a completely new direction with the fool card I I kind of get a sense of there is a a kind of opening with regards to collective direction uh you know hence the empowerment piece and owning our thoughts and emotions and constructing our own self via our own divine will right in connection to the totality there's there's a lot of kind of inner work to be done and that's I think that's what trumps us <laughs> you know that's what we kind of get we get so um we get really really and that's I think that's part of this human experience is that that's what we see the outside world it's just that we've been conditioned to a program where that outside world is the only thing that's real I guess and our inner reality and how we feel and what we think and feel and etc just doesn't matter at all or even worse would be abused you know like deceptive tactics since hence the media that's why the hollywood and the media and a lot of that stuff is a coming a crashing down because there's a lot of darkness and corruption that goes on behind uh, closed doors with regards to <clears throat> the people and the puppets that we see in our celebrity worlds right and there's a lot of distortion there because it's because it has to do with power you know people are talking about these sort of uh grievances or things that went down and again a classic kind of just horrible it's just so toxic but then like blaming and shaming the, the victims right but when it comes down to survival and it comes down to a desire for for what we think is love or beauty or 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 success in a certain regard, um, there there is where the manipulation comes in, right? Um, it's it's and and you know it's ugh ugh. There's a lot of I think energy to like ingest and digest and resolve within the human uh, consciousness field, and and yet. I mean, individually, that really does look like our personal lives, like facing down abusers or or simply walking away or um, owning our pain. You know, that's a huge thing in the book that I talk about is I, I know it would appear that people hurt us and people do this and people do that. And yet we are the only ones thinking and feeling inside our own mind, right? Um, so what we do with that, that's, that's it, really. Uh, I'm sort of feeling in this moment, I'm like, I don't have answers, but I'm, I'm coming across things in the media, in the social media world, because I, again, I talk to people, I haven't watched TV for over 10 years, and one of my courses is all about teaching people to unplug completely, and increasingly I'm aware of unplugging from social media and getting really creative and getting back into community, 
Have a great day, you guys. Take care of yourself. Lots of love. Peace out.